in between the uh, Cosmo and the Bellagio you may have heard MGM have recently acquired this really narrow strip of land so that's the walk over where we shoot I guess 90% of our uh, vlog, vlog footage walking back to the Bellagio at night time yeah and this little narrow strip is just being cleared now they have released the renderings for what's planned and suffice to say it's got a once and for all fuck up the jockey club which is that sort of beigey building you can see in the middle of your shot there so since the cosmos inception half of that building has been engulfed and the rooms or suites on the other side of that particular block have had no view whatsoever just a concrete wall well guess what the rooms on the front are about to get a view of a concrete wall as well so mgm expanding once again albeit with a very narrow piece of land and the jockey club just being swallowed up whole like Boba Fett in the Sarlacc. Good luck jockey club. Just had a quick uh, pit stop outside Whataburger on the corner of the uh, Waldorf Astoria just to get a little uh, shot of the boulevard and how that's coming along. I think I filmed this for you on the last trip from uh, Brewdog which is up there so you got a bird's eye view. This is a street level view obviously. It's coming along nicely. Goodness me. Again, another development that is decimating the view from some properties. So Polo Towers behind there, first 10, 15 floors have now had their view of the strip decimated. Because that is a big structure and there's going to be lots of um, retail and hospitality venues in there. So looking forward to it. Still can't see when it's slated for open, Sally. Does that sign say open? Can't see it. No. Looks like we're nearly there though. I'll give it another three to six months and this thing will be a rocking. Come on the boulevard, look forward to you. Later date of the 9th of October, but that's subject to change for the uh, implosion of those last remaining towers or the skeletons of the towers that remain. Horrible to see that whole area boxed off, you just cannot get anywhere near it now. You see the beige construction wall around it. Goodness me. There we go, they keep chipping away. Hey everybody, just in the lobby bar in the Excalibur and uh, delighted to bump into Kev and Debs. Do watch their channel, Kev and Debs Travel Vlogs. How's your trip doing guys? Yeah, uh, hectic. Hectic. Two days, six hours sleep. <laughs> but we're doing alright. Doing alright in the high limit, Debs, are you? Yeah, I don't know. Cave is the way to go. Alright. Well listen guys, great to meet you, have a great trip. Thank Sally is there. Lovely people, watch their vlogs. Kevin Debs travel vlogs, give them a watch. Cheers guys, go steady, bye. Guys.
back in the um, area now. Another brutal afternoon down the south end, Sally. It's not been kind to us. It's not been kind at all. You've not got much slot, um, slot action on the vlog, guys, because there's been very little bonus. I dropped $80 on the blackjack table at Excalibur. This brute of a dealer um, just took my first six hands at $10 a hand, and then I, I started winning. I got back, and then they changed the bloody dealer on me. Anyway, um, that were crazy. Lost a bit of money in a couple of properties on the way back. Can't remember where. No bonuses to show you. Um, Posh Burger at Aria. Um, wouldn't normally take time to talk about a burger joint, but because it's on the My Vegas and people have talked about it, we'll give you our thoughts. Sally, Posh Burger. I thought it was alright. Solid burger. The jalapeno taste tarts are amazing. Yeah. Onion rings were great. Um, yeah, I'm afraid to say for me the onion rings were the highlight, which <laughs> if you're going to call yourself Posh Burger. Um, yeah, it was alright. It was solid. I mean, I wouldn't. It's probably twice the price of a McDonald's burger and the meals and everything. And the, it wasn't the, twice as good as that. It certainly wasn't. It really wasn't. And I'm not a McDonald's fan, by the way. But yeah, it was just standard, just solid. Uh, so your ten dollars off on the My Vegas is probably worth doing. Double it up if there's two of you. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, it's noisy around the tables in the area. Find a winning machine. We do. We've got sixty bucks left, which we're going to play down to fifteen, and that's the afternoon budget gone. So uh, cross your fingers guys, and then back to the room and uh, have a little chill for an hour before we go out tonight, which we've got plans, um, or we think we have, and we'll share those with you when we're on our, on our way out the door. Go steady. So against our better judgment, we gave Genghis another go, put a $60 Tito in, down to 35 80 on your Nickel Denons, 125 a go as per. Go on Sally, let's have some words up there. Oh, we could do with something on a really dry run last three days. This is removed been strip, isn't it, Sally? Had a beautiful start up the north end. But we'll cover all that up in the wrap up in a couple of vlogs' time. The whole experience of staying up north versus centre strip. Suffice to say, I will be doing it again. Come on with your little balls, Genghis. Oh dear. Looks a little ball, don't he, Genghis? Well, I never. Look at that. There's a six, seven, five there, and the rest of it is just an ocean of disappointment. It's probably going to take us back to just shy of money bank. Oh no, just over money bank. Which I guess is okay. Alright, we'll see if he repeats on us. Come on, Gengus. Next one's going to be better. Just walking through the Bellagio, bumped into Pennies. Hey, Pennies, how's your trip going? Hey, man, how's it going? Oh. We just got here. Yeah? Yeah. So, only been in town a few hours. Oh, uh, plenty, plenty of fun to be had there, buddy, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure hey. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. And his beautiful wife and his lovely mother. I did think it was his sister at first, but apparently it's his mother. There we go, she doesn't believe me. Great to meet you guys. Bye. Good evening. So we're out at night time. We're getting, getting quite the habit, this getting out the house at, uh, or getting out the room at half past eight at night. Business, another Sally. Night. Yeah, another good snooze. <laughs> we are uh, elongating the oh, afternoon somewhat, aren't we? We're 11 nights in. <laughs> yeah, give us a break. It's good though, because it's, you know, we, we go out, we have a couple of drinks, some cocktails, and, uh, we don't start gambling properly till about 10 o'clock, so... Less time to lose it. Yeah, your evening budget feels like it's been stretched out, which is nice. <laughs> um, so, tonight we're going to uh, go across the street. We are going to stay local because we are feeling a little bit jaded. But we need to give Caesars a bit of love, don't we, Sally? We do. We've not really, well, we didn't really gambled in there at all, have we? No, we had a little spin with uh, Steve and Amanda, I think. But other than that, we've been... Uh, not really giving them the respect they deserve because they keep sending us comp nights, we keep ignoring them. So we probably need to keep our hand in with them. So we're going to go and hit up uh, Horseshoe, Paris and Planet Hollywood all before we get settled in the Cosmo and the Bellagio later. So that's what's coming up in tonight's show. <laughs> Stay tuned. You alright? I'm good. Okay. Bye -bye. Just click like and subscribe. Now. Right, see you later.
never in all my days seen a horseshoe or valleys back in the day. As busy as it is. Absolutely rammed. We struggled to get on a machine, seriously. We just managed to find a dragon link right around the edge of the casino. And I said to Sal, I can't work this out. What's going on? It's a Wednesday night in the middle of August. And of course I figured it out. It's the, uh, the Caesar's 10 times multiplier, isn't it? 10 times tier multiplier. So I'd imagine all of the uh, Caesars players who live locally or a couple of hours away are in town right now milking it. I will test that theory in the next few properties because if Paris is busy on a Wednesday night in August and if Planet Hollywood is busy on a Wednesday night in August, I think it's safe to say Caesars have done a smart thing by offering the 10X. Let's go find out. So it's official. If you like uh, lots of folks and not be able to get on your slot machines, then uh, come to a Caesars property during a 10X promotion. That's Planet Hollywood, Paris, and uh, Horseshoe, all absolutely rammed. It's like an absolute zoo. It's crazy now. There is a convention on in town as well, but if we go to the Cosmo and the Bellagio, and they're not as busy at this place, it has to be the uh, promotion. Anyway, update on gambling. We are one dollar fifty down. So twenty went in the Paris. No, by uh, Bally's horseshoe. Then we played in Paris because there was no slots. This horrible video roulette. Put twenty bucks in. Walked off with fifty-eight dollars fifty. And then we put twenty bucks in a Buffalo Revolution in Planet Hollywood. Uh, got a win. But went down to twenty again. I said, "Fuck this, let's go." Busy. Walk past day roulette table, live roulette table, one twenty dollars spin, didn't hit. So sixty dollars invested, fifty-eight fifty out. Doing alright. Doing alright, man. So yeah, Cosmo now. We'll go and check out some. Uh, see what MGM is saying tonight. Because Caesars are busy. All right, go steady. Yeah, confirmed. So Cosmo is as you'd expect on a Wednesday night. Not too bad. Should be able to get a table at the chandelier bar without too much uh, fighting. Although that does look quite busy. But the slot area is dead. So uh, yeah, it's definitely happening for Caesars. Just sat in the chandelier bar enjoying a little cigar and some beautiful cocktails and bumped into Mandy and David from Carrick Fergus. Yay, I got it right. How's your trip going, guys? You've got 11 nights, all right? And you're on day six. Wonderful. Absolutely. Great to meet these guys. We'll keep going. You guys go steady. In the Cosmo, Sally playing Heartthrob. There's a familiarity about that line, isn't there? So it's only the um, one cent variant, guys. Oh, sorry, it's the five cent spin we're doing, but it's not the it's not the high limit. It's not the machine. It's it's another one. So uh, one twenty five a spin, nickel denoms, thirty bucks invested with only one dollar left. Sally hits this. The mini's worth fifty. Good hit, Sally. We're in profit. A couple of six seventy five balls on the screen as well, which is always nice to see. So we're looking at maybe getting a hundred bucks out of this if we can get another decent ball. Certainly should get 80 out of it. Nice, keep going. Okay. Got myself. This time. No, okay. Let's have a look, see. 30 bucks invested. How are you feeling after your cocktail, baby? I'm meeting David and Mandy from somewhere near Belfast. Lovely, just lovely couple. Enjoy the rest of your set, guys. Well, the first time you see this, you'll have already enjoyed it. $85. Good start in the Cosmo. We're all money on the night, though. Should we go home now? It's soft past 10, I'm ready. Right, good steady. Popped onto Genghis um, for no particular reason. Been bouncing around, we've been doing one cent denoms, two cent denoms, we've been varying it. 
and yet you catch us in a bonus on the old faithful five cent 125 so i assure you guys we do mix it up we just tend to get the bonuses on the same shit every time come on sally can be disappointing old genghis on the bonus as we know there he's started off yeah oh time that that'll be all right that's okay we've got one line times four one line times four i think 20 bucks we'll take that come on more where he came from that's another little semi line with one multiplier on it okay that's good three to go balls will be nice balls will be lovely three trigger will be nice no yes okay 26 just below par but we'll take it we've got a drink on the way haven't we sally that's it let's get it I promise you guys, we have been playing some different machines trying to get bonuses for you on there, something a bit different. But uh, what have we have been playing, Sally? All aboard. Everything. Dragon, Dragon Finn, Jung, Lang. Yeah, the one with the coins where it captures it and they cascade in. Uh, hold, on hold on to your hats. All aboard. I've said all aboard. All for even more. All for even more. I'm a shit, obviously. So uh, we're down to his last 24 in the Cosmo before we take 300 back to the Bellagio. We hit six helmets on Wolf and Morpuff, come on. Anything here is good really, apart from uh, a really shit win. Come on. Yeah, re-trigger baby. And a Woodhouse. Five spins to go. Needs to re-trigger early doors. Next two spins need a re-trigger. And there it is. Good reach trigger, four hands. All landing in not so great areas, but we'll take it. Four to go. Okay, we've got a goal. We've got a goal. Major on this is 2989. Which is pretty good. We've got two we've got two goes at it now. Come on. It won't do any more now. We've got two goals, that's all done. That's us done, mid up. I saw that coming a mile on 40 paces. What a straw. That'll hit all money backs. I reminded myself of Peter Hook there when um, Oasis did a, a very early radio broadcast on Hit the North. Peter Hook was in the studio and he, he said that the end of one of their songs sounded like Big Bronson. Oh, a coin on mini, a uh, uh, coin on straw, sorry. And anyway, um, he said, recognise that, 40 paces. I wait to see you down there. And we have said, we certainly are. Oh, we got the miner. There you go, a bit of trivia for you there. Sally wants a high five. If you can't find that recording, it's Oasis played Hit the North in 1993. They played four songs. I think one of them was uh, I Will Believe, which is a great B-side on Super Sonic. There you go, a bit of trivia for you, I will uh, $101 on a 150 spin. Well above par for the course. Woo! Now, Sally, we did say if we win, turn this 40 into 100. High limit. We'd go high limit with this 100. High limit. Let's fucking do it. Let's just go high limit then for a combo. Let's get it. Here we go then. We walked into the Cosmo with $140 to gamble, leaving us 300 for later on in the Bellagio. It's half 11. We've been here two hours and we've got 120 bucks left. So, what's the deal to do, eh? Straight into high limit at five dollars a spin on what is this Sahara Gold? Come on, Sally, we need this. Well, in the immortal words of Simon South, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, three temples. We've burned forty bucks down to eighty-one dollars. Come on, Sally. If we can't win forty bucks here, there's something wrong with the world. Give it a shot. Come on. Go on, yeah, always right, always right. Hold and spin, hold and spin, hold and spin, hold and spin. Oh, well, and only 25 added. It's been worse. It's, well, you say it's that, you say that. We need some big line hits here, though. That's not going to work. Oh, my word, don't do this to us in high limits. <laughs> no, it's going to give us one $40 hit and that'll be us done. Oh, and they're fucking... No, it doesn't line up. It doesn't line up. What was that? $40. What did I say? What did I say? Yeah. Oh, that's shocking. That is really poor, you know. 
no harm, no foul. Well, we're going to play on, obviously, obviously. but that is a poor bonus in high limit. Have I mentioned we're in high limit? <laughs> anyway, big love to Simon we South. Love Have you well, geezer. We love you, Simon. Love you, pal. No joy on those high limit spins. It gave us a bit of a tease, though, didn't it, Sally? We've had a game, and I feel really happy with it. <laughs> We had a game. Maybe it's all about the rest. I was going to say, they must have been strong. You're a bit giddy, aren't you? I don't feel a bit giddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're going back in the Bellagio with $300 <laughs> to spend. Look at the fountains in the background. Good. It's very good. So we're going to do a bounce round with the 100, uh, just 20 in, 40 in, 60 in maybe and then leave 200 for the end of the night to do something fucking stupid with. Slash fun. Which is what we tend to do. Have a cut at this. I don't know, and I don't know if I care either. All right. It's pretty good, isn't it? Do cut. Push me up. <laughs> All right, push that in. First machine in Bellagio, $100 in, so we play down to 60. We got down to $60 and, I don't know, about 75 cents. And Sally said, what do you want to do? I said, well, have one spin and take just under 60 to the next machine. What a good decision that was. Come on, Sally, they're all 25s. What well, was it, 50, but no to write home about. It's like anything, mate. Or anything. A lantern would be good. Something. Yeah, yeah, kids, isn't it? Come on. Okay, a bit more money back. There's a major, there's, oh that was where the major was. That was exactly where the major was. Come back somewhere else, major. Rubbish balls, rubbish. What precisely? Given that we were going to cash out for 59.40, we'll tap this 20 bucks and see what we can do here. Right we are. Back down to 60, we'll see how we go up. And just as I was starting to moan about it and saying, oh, we should have taken it at 80, it's just taking it all back. We at these uh, dragon things? Uh, yeah, go on, Sally. Now you want the uh, holder spin. We're on the right-hand side, obviously. We got it, hold and spin it is. So you start off with note and you work your way up from there. There's a blue and flying about. Oh, he's flown about twice, that blue and us. That's a good ball, that's $67 right there. Come on, now put a blue in there. Bit of, bit of blue for dads, come on. Come on. Wouldn't it be nice? Can't argue though, Sal. Oh, that's good, another 12.50. Come on, is there more in this? Lifesaver. Lifesaver live on your tubes. No, 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 no. But it's a great hit. Great hit. Given that we were going to cash out, that was the, the, the dodgy spin that took us below $60. One bonus ago. And then second bonus has given us a real win. So we're up in the ballage. Hurrah. Did you notice when Ryan Olsen did his impression of me, he still pronounced Balage like a, an American? Balage. Yeah, Balage. Balagio. Americans really can't say the word Balagio, can they? Ryan isn't American. No. He's Canadian, you're quite right. Thank you for correcting me. We love you, Ryan. He's one of the North American brethren. Well, I love you, Ryan. Oh, I love Ryan. He's my favourite. It goes Ryan, then Kevin, then a bunch of other people. Uh, and then, and then eventually you get down to Danny. You're my favourite Danny. <laughs> That's not what she says. Not what she says behind closed doors, I assure you. Like, I know he isn't true. I know he isn't true. Anyway, we digress. Um, it's $103 on the 125 spin. It's good. Very good. We took the 160 profit out of um, Happy Lanta, I think it was, with the intention of dropping 40 into the evil buff and even more buff. But to be fair, we got it straight away, really. Well, down to 20. Bouncing between $1 and $2 spins. Got it on the $1. Come on, Sal. Let's see if we can get here. It's going to be close.
Nice to Minnie. No, it's going past Minnie. We're good. We're okay. It's gone. It's out of the way. What sore it is. It's always nice to get that Minnie out of the way. How are the bus sores? Not too bad. Top row's all right. We're going to get a wood house. We're going to get seven boxes with one wood. That's not... It's a steady start. Only a one dollar spin, so don't get too excited. It's nice to get it on this, yeah. Such a volatile machine. Yeah, we trigger two more woods. Major's nice on this, by the way. 1976. I wish I'd got an interesting fact from 1976 uh, to uh, impress you all with, but I haven't. Oh dear, we've got a go. Where's that wait for so? One more, yes, yes, yes. Two more awards and another spin. Three gold hats right down the middle. Line three, please. Oh, we got one, we got one. I asked for three, but we got one. Okay. Let's see what we got. Should be okay. One dollar spin, there's 40 bucks here. Minimum 40, hopefully 50. Anything more would be a bonus. Yeah, picking up your spares. Yeah, standard. tired of saying this. I don't see the point because the winds are really, really low. But we're in profit. We've got a waitress on the way. We'll keep going in the fly shield. Goodbye for now. Do you know what? Sometimes it's fated, isn't it? I said to Sally, we've not had a bonus after a bonus on this machine all holiday. We get a bonus, then we push $20 back and move on with his tail between his legs. And as the words tumbled out of my my mouth um, we got it on a two dollar so come on Sally anything but the mini please upgrade come on upgrade that could be upgrade it could also be mini it's upgrade oh it's fucking minor minor times two it's a hundred we'll take that it's a hundred bucks it's a hundred bucks it's not as much fun as getting something but it's instant it's instant like instant it. gratification that's what you like isn't it Sally which is fortunate for me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like to walk about. Um, I think we'll move on from there. 100 bucks. Let's keep going. Cashing out the 40 bucks in Huff and even more Pluff at 120, which we're very happy with on this thing. But more importantly than any gambling news I can give you, I ordered a um, lemon drop martini in the Bellagio. More in hope than expectation. Last, last one I had in here was utterly terrible. This is beautiful. A sugar-rimmed martini glass, and it tastes every bit as good as the old school Cosmo ones. The last lemon drop I had in the Bellagio came in a tumbler glass, no lemon. It was bitter as hell, shocking. This is, the game is up, mate. So maybe there's been a bit of Cosmo rubbing off on the Bellagio, which, Sounds more sexual than I intended it to be, but you, you get the idea. Go for it. Took a $120 Tito out of um, whatever we were on before. You guys remember, you just watched it. Went to Buffalo Link, that was awful as always. Took an $80 Tito out of that from the 120 we put in. And bounced onto this maxed out major on Tiki Fire. 125 you spin, just been flat 125 in it. Give us some spins for the major. Come on, Sally down to 53 from $80 invested. We want a green ball to thwack in. On that, on that big juicy sound of a thwacking major. Come on. Come on. No joy. But ammunition to chase the major. And that's just what we're going to do. Takes us back to the money back in this machine. 
literally takes us back to the money back in this machine, press it up so. Yeah, ATU. No harm, no foul. Well, it's dragged us all the way down to $28, but we had to keep playing just for the fun of it. Remember, we're chasing that little belter up there. Come on, Sally, thwack a green ball in. Come on. in peace and long life all the way down to 30 bucks on our usual 125 denom and then did the switch to one cent denom 50 cent versus five dollar and literally on our first five dollar spin we hit the apples can't be bad come on sally a feature on a five dollar come on you've got to be good for us no sally was premature oh dear don't do us like this on a $5 bonus, man. Come on. It was literally our first spin, guys, honestly. Sally at 150 cent spin. I hit the $5. Oh, that's not quite there, is it? And, um, yeah, this has happened. Don't know why I'm getting so excited. Oh, you fucking... That's a nightmare. Look at that. $100 ball. That's what you expect on a $5 win. Nightmare. We'll keep with this. It's 20 past one in the morning, time to do something fucking stupid. We found a maxed out major at uh, 10 cent minimum, $5 minimum spins on Tiki Fire, put 100 bucks in. And we got the Volcanoes after $35, they're not bad at all, Sally. Come on, come on. Could you imagine one time that green major dropping in? Now would be good. Oh my God, and the times twos at the end, just to really annoy you. Oh my God, please don't do us dirty. Yeah, we got the feature. We've got a chance, we've got a shot. It's money, it's back. money back, the terrible balls. Um, really all we can hope for, right? It is, it's all we can hope for. And we've got three spins to go, and we've got, after this we've got two more, I think. Yeah. Oh, please thwack that green manger in for 10 bags. I will literally fall off my chair. I will literally scream like a baby girl. <laughs> I really want to hear that. Yeah, well, we, are. we all do, Sally, we all do. It's uh, something the viewers have been asking for for quite some time. Oh, We've got the mini we'll for a hundred. Yeah, we'll take that. That's good. That's very good. Oh, um, now, now listen. We'll have 104 bags. Let's have 104 bags, Sally. Go on, just get it. It's as simple as that. All you got to do is land that ball in there for 104k. Come on! I didn't breathe. Oh, you little tinker, you little tinker. What's a good start though, Sally? And this doesn't happen to us very often when we're playing high limit. It really doesn't. We're not plowing all this back, Sally, let me tell you that now. Absolutely not, absolutely not. Two more sprints to go, we might get hold of spin again. I've seen it done. I've seen it done by better people than us. Right, come on, two more free spins. You can do it. Oh, look at those fucking times twos. Oh, that was a tease. Listen, $220, after only 35 invested, we'll take that. Down to 200 as a minimum, let's get it. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Well, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, but you know. It is, and we also can't be bothered to move from the bed. <laughs> yeah, we're just saying to Sally, we came straight on the ball about half 12 uh, when we woke up. And I said, we're gonna do a bit of a summary video at some stage, Sally. It's our last day, people need to know what we're doing. And um, the idea of walking around to the bar to shoot. Uh, it was too much. It's just too much for us. We have moved into the shade though, so you we know. We have, we're being very sensible. Yeah. So listen guys, full disclosure, uh, last night, the high limit room did, or well, the high limit slots did high limit things. So there wasn't really a, um, a crescendo to last night's action. It was just the usual 
going home with no money, um, <laughs> which has basically been the MO for the last six days of the trip. Since we moved to the middle of the strip? Fuck the middle of the strip, I'm staying north. Take it back to Fountain Blue. Yeah, they get majors in there and everything. So, last day, and we're just going to pull the shit out of it because 11 nights has caught up with us, I'm going to be honest, whether it's my age or... I don't know, but I am feeling as though all I want to do today is relax. I think you're the same, aren't you, Sam? Exactly the same, and that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. There's it's worse fine. places to be than the Bellagio pool. Well, I think you made a good point. We're not going to get home and go, oh shit, we should have been around Casino Royale or Ellis Island today. You know, we're going to get home and say, thank God we made the most of the Bellagio pool, which we're doing. So, um, yeah, back in the sun now, top up the tan a little bit, and then. Uh, We'll get back to you when we get inside. Middle of the afternoon, we'll pop indoors and grab a beer at the sports bar and maybe check in with you guys again. Um, and then tonight, last night, so uh, hopefully there'll be some slots action for you to catch up on. So, um, yeah, that's it from us. I think we'll start this particular vlog with a little sweep around the pool just so you can see what we're up against this morning. But uh, <laughs> if, this is, if this is the end of the current vlog and the wrap-up of the last one, which I think it will be, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.